pants. Everything we do in our pants, we can do in the rest of our life. So whilst I run an underwear business, Pants to Poverty is about growth, not necessarily in massive volume, but in complexity. We have a very simple supply chain. We are truly beautiful from cotton to right to your bottom. But at the same time, it's crucial for us to take this very simple relationship and unfold it so all of the true complications around capitalism and the way that we do business can be unpacked and then pulled back together again simply, efficiently and coherently so that it can be applied to other ways of doing business. Our initiative is to measure, manage and value the social, environmental and financial profit or loss that we generate through our business, both with the farming community, the factory community and our brand community, so that we can truly understand the true cost of the way that we do business. The, the first thing that makes our initiative unique is the focus on human-centred design. Secondly, around the social, bringing the social dimension into the program. So it's not just looking at environmental profit or loss, but truly understanding the social impact of the way that we work. The third element is a real value chain approach. We've worked with the farmers and the factory workers to develop profit and losses and balance sheets for each of the communities along the chain. And finally, the focus on massive communication to consumers and a major campaign to engage open source other brands in this accessible, exciting and transformational technology. The most important thing about this initiative that will truly accelerate change right across our sector and beyond is taking away the barriers to making this possible. It's not as difficult as people believe it is. It doesn't need to be so expensive. And this way of doing business, business in looking at all three dimensions of social, environmental and financial can make you more money and more committed consumers and suppliers. Business is better in 3D. Firstly, there needs to be agreement on the protocols. There needs to be an alignment of what we're looking at in terms of valuation. Secondly, there needs to be a massive engagement of businesses and brands to become involved in this. And that involves open sourcing this technology, getting people involved in this and starting the debate. There's a whole new definition of profit that is coming. We need to open up the market. We need to create the market and prove how business and fashion can change the world. Well, first of all, technology um, is the technology on the ground. People need to be able to gather the data, they need to understand the data, and they need to be able to communicate that data to their stakeholders. Secondly, we need the technology to easily bring these things together in a way that can be formulated into profit and loss accounts based on the, the framework of the methodologies and evaluations that, that we have. And thirdly, it needs to be communicated clearly and exquisitely to consumers investors and all the stakeholders in the business. We don't embrace technology sufficiently along the value chain and we can use this to liberate the power of data along the value chains and really bring value to the way that we do business in this new century. I think it's, um, I think Many of the great people that I know in my life have a great passion for either their pants or what's in them and I'm definitely the same as that. Um, but Ultimately, Pants to Poverty is an experiment. The reason that we've run the brand, the reason that we've been running this brand over the last eight years is to truly innovate. Nobody would have paid me to do this work. Nobody would have allowed me to do this work to their own brand, so I had to set it up for myself. So as an experiment, and as I'm in complete control of that experiment, with my partners who are utterly crucial, Chetna Organic and Armstrong, the farmers and factory that we work with, we are innovating this new model. So whilst pants is definitely the centre of what we're doing, it's only the beginning. It's the first piece of clothing that we put on in the morning, and it's certainly not the last. And that is the same thing the way that we look at our business. When, when I talk about moving into other products, it's not necessarily that I need to own these other products or we, our brand needs to govern these other products. It's what we learn within our underwear we can apply to other products. Um, and one of the most important things about the 3D way of looking at things, it's not about ownership, it's about massive use. And whilst business in 3D is where we are, are at the moment, it's not where it's going to end. And this is going to innovate and grow and improve. Um, in an open source exciting fashion. So we are going to be an underwear brand 
um, we are an underwear brand, um, but we don't want to become anything more than that. But the ideas that we generate within our underwear can go a lot further. First of all, the most important thing about the way that we're approaching this is from a purely common sense perspective. If we're talking the, about understanding the externalities of our business, people come first. People are the people that we sell our products to, they're the people that make our products. If we're not even talking about them in the valuation of externalities, then we're blinkered or we have um, ulterior motives. So, or, or we do just do not, uh, or maybe we're just not at that stage just yet. But because we're small, because we're dynamic, and because we have the potential to do whatever we want, we can only look at things in a completely holistic perspective, and that includes looking at people, at the environment, and at financial as well. So it's crucial to talk about people as a starting point, um, but also to then integrate that with environmental and in financial. So we do not have multiple sets of accounts. We have one three-dimensional integrated set of accounts. The key thing is social inequality. And social inequality plus climate change challenge businesses' licenses to operate if they're not doing something about it. By integrating all three dimensions into the way of looking at valuation of, of, of a business's activities, what it's able to do is align business's goals to those of society, enable business to work with the community, to work with the environment, to maximize profit in all three dimensions for all stakeholders, then we have a way of business that not only re requests a license to operate, but is its own license to operate. This is business in the future. So all the way along the value chain we're supporting in these three areas of business model in terms of policies and in terms of CSR. So people when they buy our pants can be confident that money is going back, not just a donation basis, but a systematic approach all the way along the value chain. And secondly, as a consumer, what can they do? First of all, they can realize that they have an enormous amount of power in their pants and it's time for them to liberate the power that is in their pants. Um, and that power can be liberated in many ways in terms of choosing a more sustainable ethical lifestyle, engaging other people in that, um, and, and, and just continually realizing the power that we have as consumers to vote every day with the, with the euro, with the krona, with the pound, whatever currency we have, that currency gives us agency, and that agency is something that we all have the opportunity and in some ways a responsibility to take. So from my perspective, which is one that's very biased, my, my biased perspective sees that this is becoming a massive market, um, not only a financial market, but also a market where consumers start to understand. Consumers are questioning brands, they're questioning provenance, they're try starting to understand what it is that they really love about a brand. Yes, of course it's product, yes, of course it's marketing, but consumers are becoming more engaged and more aware of what is happening behind the closed doors. So I think, for, for companies that already have a CSR program, I would say engage that program, open it up to more parts of your businesses and really start to look at how you can start to generate more different forms of profit. These three dimensions of social, environment and financial profit. Okay. Um, If I was to if I was if I was to have one innovation within this space of social environmental capital, um, I would love to see an online marketplace where companies can put in their valuations and put in their data, which generates the three-dimensional profit positions of their businesses. And then as a result of that, they're able to access more affordable finance, they're able to access greater government support, and they're able to run their businesses more effectively. That opens up the playing field, it brings people together, and it will create a game-changing opportunity for us to truly start to look at the next level of business and business in 3D.